Hello everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. Uh, as I'm sure you guys have now noticed, the new event has dropped. Uh, this is all related to Napoleon. Uh, they've kind of been prepping us for this. It's it's a collab with the um, the Napoleon movie that that's coming out or has come out. Uh, I don't actually know uh, when that is. Um, but basically there's a whole bunch of events uh, you can find it here in the event center uh, for in the Legend of Napoleon. Um, and for those of you that have been around for a while, this will look very similar to you to like the sixth anniversary celebration or uh, whatever they did for um, like the when like Ludwig and Alessandra came out or Douglas and Eleanor or palace uh, basically they have this kind of recurring theme um, so this is kind of the latest installment of this uh, there's a whole bunch of events here i'm gonna i'll talk through kind of some of the some of the more important ones um, sorry if i forget about them there are quite a lot of things going on in this new update uh, hopefully this video won't be too long um, but yeah uh Let's kind of get into it. I'm. I might leave the the new uh, general covenant to a different video, uh, just because I think it 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 deserves its own uh, video, uh, not you know kind of bundled in with all of this this event stuff. So uh, first of all, um, let's let's look at some of the mails. Um, there's of course a new general uh napoleon prime uh, they put the prime here because there already is a general napoleon uh, that has existed in the game for a long long time basically forever he's still not in the tavern for some reason but uh yeah, probably because he's a requirement for some of the uh the general hall or our treasure uh unlocking um but Let's look at this new General Napoleon Prime. Um, basically, he's a great mount uh, troop general. So mount troop attack 50%, um, mount troop defense and HP by 30% when they bring a dragon or spiritual beast to attack. So attacking general, um, not not so much a reinforcing general uh not that most people will reinforce with cab anyways but uh, yeah uh and then the the sending looks pretty good uh eight percent march size capacity here uh that's good with the additional uh, attack stuff here um yeah i mean honestly really really solid general uh so basically what my thoughts on on these generals that come out in these kind of big sort of events is that they're they're kind of some of the better generals that you can get so um i, I haven't calculated it out quite yet but i believe that uh napoleon prime is going to be the new best mount general um, that doesn't mean you have to go out and, you know, get him and, you know, ascend him and everything like that, unless you're really, you know, kind of <laughs> trying to optimize and trying to get those, those last little buffs that, that you can get. Um, but yeah, so basically the, the way that, the way that they've kind of been, been targeting these, uh, these general releases, at least for these big events, like we have right now is that they'll have kind of a a general that they that they mean to be the the main general and you can ascend it uh has really good ascending uh is a little bit easier to get this napoleon prime is in the glory uh glory general opening uh also he is in pretty much every other general pack that you have uh so just because you don't have the glory ones doesn't mean that you can't get him uh i opened a couple of of like even just normal epic general packs not even epic historic general packs and i got a napoleon prime so uh i had been kind of saving up for a good general and uh this one is is it for me i think um 
and so uh, yeah, don't don't be shy if you don't have glory general packs. Um, it, th he will be in some of the other general packs at, at a higher rate. Uh, and then the other thing that they've been doing is when they release a one of they kind of have been releasing these generals in pairs for these big events. One is main the main general and one is the assistant general. And this guy is going to be the assistant general, Andre Masenya, um, which again, very similar to Alessandra, Cleo, uh, or Eleanor, which are basically the other the other assistant generals for uh, ground, archer, and siege uh, that were released before. This guy is going to increase the march size by 12%. So uh, that's that's really awesome. Uh, it's it's really hard to to get march size uh, that big that pairs with a lot of generals. So, and this guy, at least if it follows the trend that the other generals have been have been doing, uh, this guy will pair certainly with Napoleon Prime, uh, but also with a, a number of other ones. And then this guy also, of course, has mount troop attack 45%. Uh, so that's 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 really good. I'm not really going to look at the ascending because he's not really. Uh, he, he would be a good good general to ascend, but it's it's not easy to get him. So it's I I would say that it, unless you're a heavy heavy coiner, you might be able to ascend him, but. Uh, I would still probably stick with with Napoleon Prime and using this guy as the assistant. Um, so specialties uh, looks pretty solid. March size capacity again here, so that gives you a total of 18% march size capacity once you unlock that. And then you know just really solid stats there. So uh, again, I haven't done the math quite yet but i believe that this is going to be the the best pairing going forward um and so how do you get the that assistant general uh you you go to this imperial lion event um and then very similar to all the other events like this uh, you can actually see all the other ones that you could have gotten cleo uh, eleanor and alessandra um this is basically, you know, you have a chance to get this glorious general chest, uh, which you can pick any one of these. So, I mean, let's say you you don't have a Cleo's or an Eleanor or Alessandra, uh, you can you can pick one of those up. I would recommend, you know, if you're if you're getting a Napoleon Prime, that you would get Andre, but uh, it's it's up to you, um, and you can basically get up to thirty free. Uh, spins total. That's not not that's not a daily limit. That's a total limit. And then of course you can you can buy packages here. Um, so let's just do some quick math. If you use a double down, you get 80 spins of, of this. If you use a triple down, that's 120. Um, so it's not crazy crazy expensive to to guarantee this. Uh, I guess the reason why I'm I'm saying that is because. Uh, the glorious general chest is guaranteed at 200 openings, so you might get you might get lucky and 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 trigger it sooner. But uh, let's assume you don't. Getting to that 200 times, it it's it's not crazy crazy expensive uh, in comparison to most of what Ebony is. It's maybe you know a hundred. Depends on whether you want to use a triple down for it or not. Uh, but let's assume you're using a triple down. You get the 30 for free. Um, then you use a triple down, which is 120. So that's 150. Uh, so basically you can get it. Yeah, you can get this general for 130, I, I guess, guaranteed. Uh, if you're using double downs on the other ones. I'm assuming you know some people will be using double downs on other things, uh, but yeah, I mean, still not super super expensive to get there. Let's look at the other things. Um, so Napoleon Prime also has a skin, of course. Uh, marching round troop attack 10%, enemy ground troop HP minus 20%. Um, that is going to be in. Uh, 
that's actually going to be in the the new kind of cake. Um, we'll we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, there's a new castle, uh, and this is again one of these three level castles. Um, so basically, it is a coining competition. I will go into it a little bit, uh, but this is one of those castles which has you know kind of the normal skills, uh, which are pretty good. I think probably the best uh, mount, marching mount uh, castle that you can get, uh, particularly because it also has a debuff there. Uh, but the big thing that you want with this castle is this skill. So this increases the attack of all troops uh, of you and allied players within six grids. So this is an activatable thing. Um, and this gives you uh, one chance for, for 20 minutes uh, every day. So, you know, you use this in Battlefield or while you're doing Throne or something like that. Um, and yeah, 60% is, is a pretty big increase in attack. So if you're a big coiner and you want to help out your alliance, uh, try for the, the level 2 or level 3 of this. Uh, level 2 will give you 40%. Um, and, you know, same duration, uh, level three will give you 60%. So, um, yeah, it's going to be expensive though. Um, really. And, and the way that you, the way that you get this is by going to, uh, the Napoleon treasure here. And basically you have to, you have to place in the top, um, the top, you know, couple, uh, people here, I think. Uh, if we look at the the specific one, you'll get so if you get in the top uh, top three, you'll get a, a level three castle. If you get in the top uh, four through ten, you'll get a level two, and then if you get uh, eleven through twenty, you'll get a the castle but not upgraded. And then you know, past that, you'll get a, a temporary castle. Um, so, yeah, if you're shooting for that, uh, you're you definitely want to be in the top uh, the top twenty for sure to at least get the castle. Um, but uh, you really these castles, in my opinion, you're kind of looking to get that activatable skill. So you you kind of want to be in the in the in the top you know ten. To be able to actually upgrade that, um, but that's you know of course going to be only only kind of massive coiners that that do it, uh, because basically the way that you get points here is yes of course there's all these other things you know that you can do you know consuming dragon crystals dragon source consuming resources consuming gold speed ups those will give you something. But really, the main thing that you're going to do is is the the gems, right? Like, you know, a hundred a hundred points for one basic gem. So, I mean, a pack is is can be twenty five thousand of that. So, you know, two point five million is is one hundred dollar pack. Uh -huh. So you'll see you'll see people that are that are doing you know a crazy amount. Uh, let's look at the at at this right now. Uh, yeah, we can see we can see that people have already scored pretty highly. You have to assume that that's by coining so far. Uh, the other thing is you can redeem things here. Um, there's a bunch of good good generals and stuff that you can get. Uh, like this guy, Ziska is a pretty good debuff general if I remember right. Uh, Nordic Bar Barbarian King is also a good uh, general. Uh, subgeneral Gilgamesh, I believe, is also a, a subgen or palace. Um, if you need a couple more fragments for for palace, that's a good one as well. Uh, but really, what what people are going to be interested in here is the dragon pattern. So, uh, as I'm sure a lot of people have noticed previously, there is a new pasture dragon, um, and this is uh, this this fossil dragon um, it's going to be again a mount dragon uh, it looks like it's an in rally mount dragon um, so 
it's kind of weird. Uh, maybe maybe you'll have a rally dragon and and a solo dragon, uh, but I mean th this is again going to be for people who uh, need a replacement for Nidhog. You can't get Nidhog, uh, and so you need a a mount dragon. Um, so uh, that's I mean it's it's good of course. Like you know if you can get it, you you absolutely should. More dragons are always going to be better, especially if you need to use them on like assistance or, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, let's actually look at this. So this is the activatable skill for for that dragon, uh, and you can see enemy range troop attack debuff here, and march speed. March speed speed is I mean it's important but not it's not going to turn the tide in in battle uh you know people are using march speed ups anyways but the enemy range troop attack you know with the the crazy buffs that people are having now uh you need to be able to to debuff the range troop attack because it still is one of the most damaging troop types and so um it looks like you can get some extra range troop attack debuff here uh which is is always good as well so that that would that would be one of the main reasons why you would want to get this dragon uh in addition to you know having another mount dragon uh as well uh, it's pan day so just checking on the on the pans seeing if i can join anything while i'm doing this um so yeah new pastor dragon let's go back into the event come on all right, so then uh, there's the active uh, skill for the castle decoration. There's a new ideal land ornament. Not really going to talk about that. You guys all know how to how to look at those. Um, and then there's a new champion, so Josephine. Um, and let's take a look at the, her skills really quick. So again, in rally mount troop attack. So they're really really buffing mount troop attack in rallies. Uh, it looks like Mount Troop Attack is going to be one of the stronger uh, in terms of like total buff uh, troop types that you can get, just because they're they keep you know if you have the new the new dragon, if you have this new uh, general, if you have the this new champion, you're you're getting you know up to sixty percent additional in rally Mount Troop Attack. Uh, Ground Troop and Mount Troop HP debuff, March Speed, uh, and then In Rally Attack. So total for for mounts, you're getting an additional 100% uh, In Rally Attack for Mount Troop. All other types, you're getting 40. But uh, I guess one of the reasons why this why this champion is special is all of the other dragon, or all of the other champions so far have been very defense focused. They've all been, if we look at, you know, uh, uh, Esmeralda, in city, you know, buffs, uh, debuffs, in city buffs again. None of these have, are really about attacking. In city, debuffs, uh, you know, of course, things like this. In city again. You know, I'm, I'm not going to go through all of them, but that is, that is actually a big plus for people who don't get attacked a lot um, or you know are more on the attacking side you do want to want to get this champion and level her up now here's the the really bad thing and i i hate that ebony did this i think this is the dumbest thing that ebony has done and i'm sure you guys can guess uh we had, everyone had been saving up these these general tokens, right? These things where are these champions tokens where you can get, uh, you know, you can kind of level them up. Uh, you can unlock them. Uh, let's really quickly, I'll show you, you know, kind of where you would do that. Um, so when the events are going, you can use this redeem to get any of these things that you need to unlock the champions. You will notice here that there is nothing for the new champion that this is still esmeralda's and you need the crown of empress to unlock this so where do you get the crown of empress unfortunately not from those those champions tokens uh, which is really annoying because you know 
people had paid money for this. Like th this is something that was grindable, but also people paid money for. So if we look at cake level five, here's the crown of Empress. So basically you have to, you have to coin to cake level five to un unlock this, this champion. I'm sure a bunch of people will do it, you know, particularly those that are going to be attacking a lot. Uh, but this is just, to me, really, really annoying. Like, they, they're not even making this, like, remotely grindable. They're making all the other ones grindable at this point, but they're not making this one grindable, which is just very, very frustrating. Um, let's let's very quickly take, take a look at this last one, um, because I, I mentioned that... Uh, I mentioned the the skin before. This is where you get the Napoleon Prime skin, um, and of course you you also get a chance get the Zizka and Supremacy gear here, uh, but you don't get a castle, at least guaranteed castle, right? Because you need to participate in that coining competition. Um, okay, real quick, let's let's talk about some of the other things. Tactic event is basically all the events are going on right now. Tactic researching event is going on trial of knights is going on super feeding is going on um you know all of those things uh and i think it's because you know they're they're trying to get people to consume things they're trying to get people to upgrade to build troops to you know spend all their gems basically and coin more um the other cool thing to note is that they've done this once before but they have if you notice they've combined the resource and consumption again so that means that you can start things and finish them and use the speeds and use the resources all in one event um, and also of course get additional speeds and get you know stamina and, and resources that you normally get in the resource consuming event without having to wait until the next event so i think this means that effectively we'll be getting three resource events in a row we had we just had a resource event we're having this combined event and then i believe hopefully the next event is still resource consumption so that's kind of cool um but uh yeah uh so you know if you can max those out that's that's of course a really good thing as well all right continuing on uh there's of course a lot more to go over uh, really quickly basically you can with this Napoleon journey you will get uh, a limited number uh, of these cannons things you get a hundred per day um, and and basically everyone everyone on every server will get it uh, and so you can see the total number here but if you click on here that means that you can uh, then kind of go and, and and upgrade these things once enough people have have you know spent their cannons uh, essentially. So once once you know a million people or ten million people have done this, then you can go here, and I'm assuming it will unlock rewards here. Of course, there's also the redeem. Uh, this takes takes us back to the same thing. Here's where you would get that dragon pattern to unlock that dragon. Um, the other thing that I do want to point out is this new Expedition to Egypt event. So if you if you look at this, this looks very, very similar to Barbarians, uh, Pyramids, um, and so it, it is, right? Like, um, it's essentially you, you are attacking these pyramid things, this fortress pyramids, um, and they look very similar to this on the map, uh, and you can either solo or rally them. Um, and then based on that, you will get scores here. You can also visit the kind of gifts that they that they drop on, you know, on the map uh, to get additional points as well. Um, and you can also join other people's rallies to get additional points. So it doesn't actually, so you can see that I, I've used two already, but you get 10 challenges per day. Um, but you can join other people's rallies without using a chance. Um, so you can essentially get as many as many rallies as possible, um, you know, in your alliance by using other people, using everyone's chances. Um, and then, of course, you're you're getting scored on this. You can buy additional. Uh, 
telescopes, I would say don't do this. Like there's there's way way better things to, to spend your money on than this. Uh, and really, quite frankly, all that you're getting is this uh, this permanent castle. It is it is a nice castle, but and it's a two by two castle, but it's not it's not anything that's that's you know crazy crazy good if you're if you're a big big coiner you know spend it on 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 the general and and, and things that that actually really matter um but yeah i mean if if you if you can uh try and get in the top three to get the permanent castle uh otherwise the other the other rankings will give you uh additional napoleon gold gold coins um so you know, if you're if you're trying to unlock that dragon or or something like that, you can you can get uh, those gold coins uh, to to help as well. There's also you know alliance ranking. Uh, so like the if your alliance is is top, you get a 14 day fortress pyramid castle. Everyone in the alliance. You also get two conquest scroll fragments and additional gold coins. So I mean, really solid. Uh, you know, definitely try and be 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 in the top uh, one or two alliances on your server to to get this. And then, of course, you know, similar to to the other barbs and pyramids and stuff like that. There's there's you know a bunch of good stuff here. Treasure treasure boxes, gems. Uh, really, really good for for non coiners, um, people who are you know willing to to kind of grind it out. I think that's mostly it. Uh, I think I've kind of covered everything. Um, there, there is a lot more stuff going on. Uh, like I, like I mentioned, the the general covenant uh, stuff that people have probably noticed. Um, if I just click on any general, uh, you can see there's a covenant thing here. I will cover that in a different video. Um, it is, you know, an additional thing that that just came out. Um, that requires you to have, you know, multiple generals and, and level things up and, and stuff like that. But uh, for right now, um, just make sure that you that you uh, do your do your activities uh, because you can get these covenant stones, um, you know, as you as you complete activity um, and you will need those later. Uh, and you also get Napoleon gold coins here as well. So uh, make sure that you unlock uh, activity to 145 as well. Uh, but at this point, this video has been way, way, way too long. Uh, I blame it on Ebony. Uh, they've they've introduced way too much with this update. Um, but honestly, enjoy the event. Coin if you want to. Don't coin if you're if you're not going to. Uh, get Napoleon Prime if you're you know really chasing those extra mount. Uh, attacking buffs, um, or or don't. Um, but I think there's I think there's kind of a lot for non coiners in this in this event too. Uh, so yeah, enjoy it. Uh, I'll I'll come back with the the next video on the uh, general covenants. And uh, for those of you that have been following along, I'm also going to be putting out the the next episode in building your buffs. Uh, really improving your your keep to be a, a PvP level keep. Um, so if you haven't already, uh, please do uh, subscribe so that you can get notified for all those upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.